we like to think about solution finding instead of problem solving because the issues that have to be uh, solved really are about finding new solutions that haven't been thought of before. And we're able to do that by bringing a transdisciplinary approach by selecting students from different disciplines. And they think together about the problem from their perspectives. We've tackled problems with partners like the Markey Cancer Center, looking at patient experience in the Cancer Center. We've looked at problems in the community with groups like Glean Kentucky, who are addressing issues of food insecurity in Lexington. The National Science Foundation Research Traineeship Program aims to tackle big 21st century challenges. My work focuses on sustainable aviation fuel. But once that we take a step back, where we also need to make sure that we're not disrupting the food supply, then you start seeing that we really need other disciplines that have a bigger, stronger impact on this particular problem. The Equan program really began from a transdisciplinary need. UK Ag Equan programs was based on the fact that mayors in central Kentucky were losing their foals unexpectedly. And after that, they said, how are we not all communicating about what these issues are? And it ended up being an issue with caterpillars. So entomology came into play, veterinary science came into play, the equine industry came into play. They all came together and said, this is important. Let's bring all the people to the table to establish that. I believe that the transdisciplinary approach to the work that we have at the university is essential not only to like the success of our projects, but also in my experience at least to our mental and social well-being. A lot of our equine students that come to this college come with a passion for the horse, but they may not see how a, a photographer or a communications manager or an accountant or a business leader or even a plant and soil scientist impact the decisions that they make within the equine industry. And so it's our job to help them see the broad focus of what that looks like for them and then help them to be able to connect those dots. I would encourage our students to really take hold that this is the time and this is the moment and this is the place to really be able to explore what they're interested in and how um, that impacts those around them. People ask us why we want to teach this way. I have an answer for you. Think about what you want to solve in the world. Just think about that. What would you love to solve in the world? Because I have some good news and some bad news. I'll start with the bad news. You yourself will probably not solve it on your own. But the good news is we're gonna teach you how to solve that problem by learning how to do it with others. And so keep your passions in front of you and come with us on a journey where we can teach you how to work with others to get that job done.